Anyways, though, I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to make it into day because I want to go outside. And Nike does not mess with the monsters outside. Mm -mm. Heike's scared. Hello, everyone. My name is Crafty Simmer, and we are back with another episode of Coral Alley SMP. Now, I know, it's been, like, well over a month at this point since I last uploaded Coral Valley. Now, okay. <laughs> I have my reasons, though, okay? So... Back in July, I actually got a scare. I got, um, me and my fiance were actually exposed to COVID-19. That was super duper scary. Um, 10 out of 10 would not recommend. <laughs> and then on the Sunday, following our exposure, I got sick with a respiratory infection. And it, that wasn't COVID, but... Um, yeah, no, it was awful. It was tearing up at my lungs. It was just so painful. Anyways, though, I am now back. I have actually been working on my downstairs storage room. As you guys know, I like to have kind of like a cute little homey type situation at the top. And then I kind of hide all of my ugly Minecraft storage boxes and mod and like you know kind of like things that just kind of don't fit into my homey little vibe it down in the ground so <laughs> underground in a cave where no one can see it unless you walk down the stairs so anyways though so yeah so that's what i've been kind of working on for like the last little while and as you guys know i am still horribly behind i still don't have any food <laughs> please help i'm starving <laughs> Um, I am literally just surviving off bread right now, so that's a thing. <laughs> and yeah, so that's kind of where we're at right now with Coral Valley. And now I can start exploring with like the mods and stuff, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't even freaking understand half the mods in this mod pack. <laughs> okay, look, I was kind of hoping for like the general, the typicals, right? Like. You know, like, um, deco craft and just kind of like little, like, homey type mods. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> I don't know anything about this mod pack, and it's gonna be interesting, needless to say, because I don't know a dang thing. Like, I was hoping for, like, some Pam's Harvest Craft, but apparently that's busted all hack. And I just don't know what to do. <laughs> Please send me help. I don't know what to do anymore. I just want to cry on the inside because I'm just that kind of person. <sighs> but yeah, so anyways though, this is where we're at right now. I am just kind of vibing and just living my best life here in Coral Valley while everyone is like super duper ahead of me. Like everyone is like, I mean like a lot of people have like, you know, like really pretty houses, really pretty. You know, they have stability and food. And then I'm just vibing here. And I literally have like half rain, half snow just happening over me right now. And I don't even understand what's happening. <laughs> like, look at this. This looks like my freaking roleplay map right now. <laughs> All right, anyways, though, so I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to make it into day because I want to go outside. And I get does not mess with the monsters outside. Mm -mm. Hikey scared. But I mean, though, at least, though, like, the seasons are really pretty. So, as you so, like, um, yeah, we actually have seasons in this mod pack, which I think is really, really cool about it, is that we actually have, you know, um, various seasons that the game, that, like, our game goes through. And it's, like, set to, like, a certain amount of days. I'm not sure how many, how often we get things changed, so that's a thing. <laughs> Um, what else do I need? I really need to know how to make these into, like, fillets or something like that. I don't know how to make them into, like, fish fillets. A fish fillet. Um, let's actually search it up. How do I make a fish? A raw fishy. I need, uh, oh. Okay. So I need one of these thingies to make a fillet. Okay, okay. Okay. 
Are all the spooks gone? Those spooks are still there. I don't like those spooks. Um, Jesse's house doesn't even look like it's changed too much by the looks of it. I don't know. Has it changed? I mean, I think the cherry blossom vines are kind of new, I think. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, no. There's definitely some progress. Like, that enchantment table is new. Well, who else? I also have a new neighbor over on the other side of the map that I can go and check out as well. It's like a little house for it's like a frog and a wolf and like a wolf, a wolf, a wolf. It's a wolf there, guys. We're just gonna call him a wolf. And in here it's a garden. So I'm definitely assuming that it belongs to Jesse. Okay, I'm starving again. <laughs> I'm gonna go and grab myself some extra food. Or actually, maybe I'll make a fi um, a fillet knife. A fillet, a fill, a fill, a fillet knife. I don't know. I'm trying there, guys. Okay. Give me a star for trying. That's what I deserve. A gold star for effort. Okay. We're gonna walk back into my house, though. I think those pillagers got closer to me. I hate pillagers. <laughs> They're not nice to me. Okay, um, so I think we can make one out of cobble, right? Right? Well, we're gonna try. Because I can eat food. <gasps> Yay, I got a fillet guy! Okay, we're gonna make, okay, we're gonna make this, mil uh, this, this minnow here. How do we make a fillet? I just want food. <gasps> He even makes a fillet. I want him. Okay, let's let's cook this up. Guys, I actually made progress. Oh my gosh. I actually made food. I'm so happy. Okay. Yummy. Okay. I love fish. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> Alright. I think we're gonna go ahead here. I'm gonna look around in the mod pack and I'm gonna see what kind of attracts me in terms of the mods because yeah, we need something to do because <laughs> I don't know what to do with this game at all. So I'll be right back there guys. Okay, so I found some mods that I think are very interesting. So I found um, a, a culinary type mod that I think is good, that I think would be kind of fun to play with and make sandwiches and stuff. And then I think we have a furniture mod in here. So I think we're actually gonna focus on getting this house a little more homey looking today. And we're going to definitely play around with the furniture mod because your girl loves to have her, love to, loves to have herself a nice, pretty home already done. So let's see here. All right, let's throw these into the thingy with bopper though. Star one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My cat's losing his mind right now. I don't know. Every time every time Adrian goes off for, for work and stuff, he tends to like get like a little crazy. And I don't know why. He's just a weird cat like that, I guess. <laughs> Do I have any leather? I don't have any leather. Okay. So let's make ourselves a chair. Perfect. And let's make ourselves a table. Perfect. Where am I gonna put this though? Probably like right there would be a good idea. Probably like a good place right next to the um right next to the window. And then we can have like a living room over here and <laughs> it's starting to where I feel like a little bit more homey. I love it. And my meat's done. Yeah. Now I'm good to go for a little bit. <laughs> what else do I need? Oh yeah, I need to go find leather. So the way that I can find leather... Is there actually a way for me to like craft it in this mod pack? I guess we're gonna go find out. Leather. I think we do actually have leather. So I can get it from zombies, from rats, cow essence, rabbits, and le 
leather strap. So I actually, so it has actually extended a little bit more. Um, so there is that at the very least. Me trying to, you know. Hello everyone, hope you don't mind me, I'm just gonna sleep in someone's bed. Even though I can't now because the monsters are close. I do. It won't let me sleep because the monsters are here. I. Wait, babe. I just wanted to lie down in the bed. But well, apparently, I was too late. But look at this. This is really cute. I like the little hangers. These are really adorable. I think some inspiration from this person, not to divide. Like, look at this! People are, like, super good at this game. <laughs> I, for one, am not super good at this game. I'm actually quite awful at it. Okay, so that didn't work out. But, like, it's so nicely lit around here. I don't know why it's being so difficult. I just want a place to sleep their game. Come on. And now I'm being attacked and being attacked. No, I'm being attacked and being attacked. Run, I'm being attacked. I don't know what to do. I'm running away, running away. Oh, my Vora. No, leave me alone. So I actually wasn't that far from the from like the ocean, from like the body of water. So I was actually able to get to my corpse pretty easily, which now I mean I think the worst part was trying to get down. <laughs> because I fell into a very deep hole. Needless to say. It was a very deep hole. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's see here. So I could definitely go for some more food. I mean, are they perfect? No. Is it better than me starving? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got actually... Sorry, if you guys hear my cat's bells jingling, he's running around. I don't know why. He tends to get like really, really wonky when Adrian goes off to work. I don't know. <laughs> He has like these crazy boy hours, needless to say. Ooh, what's this? A blue flower, it's mystical. Okay. <laughs> Watch me collecting these really do nothing for me, but I, I don't really care. <laughs> Alrighty. I really need to find some cows, man. I don't know where they are though. I found a chicken. Kill you because I want your I want your meat. <gasps> a singular cow I've always wanted. Die. 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 Hell yes. <gasps> I got myself a rabbit. Woohoo. Okay. 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 Pipe. 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 Now I need sugar cane. Now I need the sugar cane. Okay. <laughs> So happy that took me for like ever just to find a stupid cow <laughs> and that's the episode is just me finding a cow and making myself a book called um something about blockheads oh yes cooking for blockheads that's what it's called uh-huh and then i even have wool so i can go back and make a bed oh life is good today Life is good today. I found what I needed. I can go back home. And I can cook up the meat that I have found here today. You know, I think...
think I would call this a success. That's for sure. All right, we're gonna go back to the house. Maybe we'll go grab more of these like mystical tulips on our way. See what I can do with these, because I don't know what to do with them. I would like to explore some of the more like magical mods because I like magic. Magic is one of my interests when doing mod packs. <laughs> And of course, you know, like homey living. I really like just have like the mods that just kind of make your house look a little nicer. Like we got fairy lights too that I just realized. So that's another thing that I'm going to probably experiment with is getting my house decorated with like little fairy lights and stuff. So uh, a lot of my yeah, that's that that that. That's a lot of my Minecraft enjoyment though, is just playing around with those kinds of mods and playing around with like the lights and the prettiness of everything, so yeah. It's, it's, it's just kind of my personal preference, really. I've never been like a super duper big fan of like the extra survival stuff. But then again though too, I make Minecraft roleplay, so I mean I guess you kind of already kind of uh you get that from me to begin with is I'm not really much of a survival player. I def I prefer playing with homie mods and decorations and making my house look super duper beautiful. <laughs> That's always kind of been what I've been about though. It's just the really pretty stuff in the homey looks and Okay, so we're back at the so we're back in the little neighborhood. So we're actually almost home, which is awesome. I actually didn't have to travel out too far, actually, because like when I consider far, I tend to consider far being like I had to walk like at least a couple, like a couple thousand blocks. Really, it's kind of how it's kind of like what I consider to be far, um, especially if it's like something that takes me overnight to go to. Yeah, that's what I consider that tends to be a little far. So I actually didn't have to go that far to find hide. And I also have my book. I also have my sugar cane and my book. So let's make the pages for the book. Okay. And then we're gonna make myself a book. See? And then we're just gonna wait for this to finish cooking up here. So, you know, I really need food. <laughs> Super bad. Okay. Yay, I got food. I'm so happy for myself. Eat at my eat at my table because I have a table now. And then what else do I want to do before I get too crazy? Oh, I should probably make my bed. That would be a super good idea. Hey, I found I found Lily with the valley. Okay. So now I just gotta figure out how to do the white wool. Did I get white wool from something? Perfect. Okay. So I just, okay, so I just got the lily of the valley, which means I get white dye, which then I can actually dye my. That scared me. <laughs> my cat freaking out. Um. So I'm just gonna go ahead here. I'm going to make myself. Another piece of white wool, and make myself a bed, and dye it light blue because that's because that's my color. It's the blue. And there we go, there guys. I got my new bed. All right, I think we're actually starting to kind of make myself a nice little humble abode, and our. Cooking for Blockheads is ready to go. So this is the Cooking for Blockheads book. It's a big book. And it should basically show off like ingredients and stuff. So it doesn't seem to work right now though. So I have to kind of experiment with it and figure this out. All right, anyway, so there guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little adventure today because that was a hot mess. <laughs> But hey, you know what? I got leather. I made my cooking for blockheads book. I started to um, decorate my house. 
I'm probably going to do some mining off screen because I really hate doing mining on screen. Um, so I think I could probably do like a Q&A probably at some point and just answer questions while I'm uh, while I'm mining because it tends to be, yeah. <laughs> I've never really liked doing mining in videos unless, you know, there's actually something for me to do. All right. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as well, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye there, guys.